So I remember when I used to play all my Xbox One, which I still have, but I just don't play it anymore. I remember the excitement of getting an achievement when you added just 10 or 15 points or even 5 points to your game score. It was, it was a good accomplishment and it's something you enjoyed. Now I'm a PC gamer, I find that although Steam has the achievement system, they're not really worth anything. You don't feel that reward that you did with Xbox Live achievements. And, I mean, quite rightly so. Nothing, not even the trophy system on PS4, sorry uh, PlayStation users, can compare to Xbox achievements. And they did it so well. The gamer score is a, a good representation of how much you've played. How much of these games you've played and how much you've accomplished. Most AAA games have a base achievement score of a thousand. So for people who only play AAA games and have 50,000 gamer score, you know if they've, they've played so many games to get 50,000 gamer score. And obviously with DLC it adds so much more. But like I said, Steam doesn't have a good system for giving you that reward, that sense of accomplishment. You have a little pop-up in the bottom right, but it doesn't accumulate to anything. It may show on your on your uh, profile how many achievements you've got, but there's no real good way to track it. Whereas on Xbox, you have that number, and you have you know the online website to to track your score. So, a lot of Xbox games are now coming to PC on the Windows Store, and with that comes achievements because it links both your Xbox profile and your PC. So if you buy the game on PC, you can play it on Xbox and vice versa. As long it's it. As long as it has the play anywhere function. This is why I've downloaded the Minecraft Windows 10 edition. So you get it free. I don't know if the offer is still on. But I know when they first brought this out. You got it free if you own the PC version of Minecraft. The uh, you know the original Minecraft version. And what I love about this. You can't mod it. You can't really do anything different with it. But you can get achievements. And it's something I've been after for a long time. And I, you know, I have my uh, Xbox profile. I have all my achievements still listed on there. But, you know, I've never, since stop, since I've stopped playing on my Xbox, I've never really gone for achievements I've, on uh, Steam or anything. Because 100% the game doesn't mean anything. I streamed The Legend of Korra a while ago, and I 100%ed that game on, on uh, Xbox One. And it took me ages. I played through that game at least three or four, maybe five times to complete every achievement. And I had a lot of fun doing it. I enjoyed doing it because it was something I wanted to do. 100% of all the Telltale games as well. All the ones I've played at least. And Minecraft 360 and the Xbox One versions. I 100% both of them too. Until they released the updates and added more achievements. And that was after I stopped playing. But... I do enjoy the achievement system, and I wish Steam would do something to either link with Microsoft and allow developers who release games on both Steam and Xbox and the Windows Store to link those achievements. To be able to link your Xbox profile with Steam, and if you complete the achievement on Steam, you, you get it added to your game store. I wish something like that existed, but I don't think it ever will. Especially with the competition right now of, you know, Microsoft focusing more on their PC gamers because it's the growing platform. It's the one everyone's changing to. There's no subscription fee to play online other than your internet bill. There's no, you know, no strings attached when you buy a game. There's no, you, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. And every game looks nicer. The power of a computer outperforms a PC ten times to one. You pay more. Yeah, that's true. You do pay a lot more. But you also get so much more. It's not just a gaming system. It does everything. If you're in university, say, I'm doing a media course. And I have... I paid a thousand pound for my computer. Paid, you know, it's a, a expensive thing, but I can game on it, and I can, you know, render all the videos 
I I recently rendered the short film I put out, Certitude, and it took me 20 minutes, and that was full 4K. We filmed on the Blackmagic uh, cinema cameras, and that was full 4K, an eight-minute short with all, you know, color correction effects and stuff like that. It took me 20 minutes. You can't do that on a console. There's only one use, and that's for gaming and your media. You know, your Netflix, your Amazon Prime, your Crunchyroll, everything. And Rooster Teeth First. I'm a huge Rooster Teeth fan, so I, I, I may as well plug them too. But I don't know. I just, I wish achievements were a thing on Steam. That What well, they are a thing, but I wish they were, you know, I wish they were worth something. Now, don't get me wrong. As much as I'm praising Microsoft for the way they've done achievements, the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft feels like a port from the mobile version. Kind of because the interface right here in the settings, there's an option to use cellular data. And I can't remember where that is, but it's somewhere. And I can't quite remember, but I will find it to just to show you. I don't know where it is, but it was yeah there. Use cellular data. I'm I'm on a computer. You've ported this to the Windows Store, and instead of porting one of the you know the Xbox version, what where's all this travel come from? Instead of porting the Xbox version, you ported the phone one. Why would you Why would you do that? You have a, a whole market of people who maybe like me want to earn achievements but can't unless they play the Windows Store games and you ported the mobile version. I'm sure there there are some, you know, facets of the the Xbox version that they did. Obviously you know, you couldn't really expect them to run the whole Windows the phone version on a PC. You, they couldn't get away with that. But I don't know. I just wish I could earn achievements without having to wait for Windows and not just Windows, specifically Microsoft exclusive games. Minecraft is the exception because it was on so many platforms before Microsoft bought it. But you you know, Forza Horizon. I just bought I've bought Forza Horizon three a while ago. Played that getting achievements for my profile, playing it on PC. Recore, another game I haven't bought, but I'm going to look into because apparently it's quite good. As I have to wait for Microsoft-only games to release in order to get more achievements, unless I play on my Xbox One. It's something I don't want to do. N no offense to the Xbox One, you know, I, I, I loved it when I had it, but since I've started PC gaming, it's there's no point playing a console in my opinion. The only console I'd play is the Wii U because or and the Nintendo Switch when it comes out and the 3DS because they have games I can't get anywhere else. Whereas the Xbox and the PS4 do. They have their exclusives, but most of Microsoft's exclusives are coming to PC now anyway. And the PS4 exclusives, although they're good, they're not worth a £250 console plus the £50 subscription fee to play online. They're just not worth it. And, you know, Nintendo, they're going to make you pay for the service now, especially with the Switch coming out. They've announced that. But it's going to be $20 a year. I don't know what it's going to be in pounds. Probably the same because they never, like, convert it fully. So it's going to be about the same price a year, $20. So it's cheaper than the other platforms. But you get to play exclusive Nintendo games you can't get anywhere else. And that's the only reason I'd buy a Wii U. Or a Nintendo Switch, sorry. Whereas I don't see the point of me, personally, buying a console. I see other, I get the reason people buy consoles. Because it's easy for them to pick it up and just plug in and play. There's no faffing about, I don't know, is this graphics card going to be compatible? Or do I have to update my drivers? Is it, you know... Is it not going to work today? Is my, you know, power supply not powerful enough? Is my graphics card not going to be able to run this new game on Ultra? You don't have that problem with Xboxes, PS4s, and Nintendo's consoles. 
because there is no... You're designing a game for a standard build. Whereas on PC, you're designing a game for every single build imaginable. So, you know, I get the reason why people buy consoles. And I get the reason why people buy Xboxes because of their achievements. People are tied to their achievements. They like that sense of accomplishment on their profile that you don't get with, you know, PS4. You get trophies, but they don't mean as much as Gamer Squad does. And I just wish that was a thing. I'm sorry this has been a, quite a, a rambly video. I want to start doing more stuff like this. I want to just be able to hit record and, you know, make a video on a topic I'm interested about or a topic I want to talk about. I don't want to always have to just make a gaming video where I sit down and commentate over a game. Although it's something I definitely enjoy doing, it's not the whole content I want to do. I, I, I do want to branch out and do more stuff that I would watch as well as stuff that I know you would like to watch. Not, you know, I like watching people play Minecraft and stuff like that. I do, you know, I've watched the odds cast for years, uh, Achievement Hunter do a lot of Minecraft stuff. And I, I like watching people play through games, obviously. But I also like rambling videos where people talk about things that they care about, things they're passionate about. Because you don't get it. People kind of hold off on that stuff a lot of the time because they don't think anyone's going to be interested. And, you know, if they're not, I don't mind. I don't mind if this video gets, you know, one view, 100, 100,000. I'd be amazed if it got, you know, more than 100 views. Maybe because it's Minecraft, it might get a bit more. But I don't, I don't mind how many people watch it because it's something... I want to make it's something I feel like rambling talking about a, a subject I'm interested in and I know this has been quite a few quite a few uh, different topics in one thing but this is like the first of many I'm, I'm gonna say and I just want you guys to you know know some of the stuff I I care about and achievements is one of that I wish I wish there was there was more link between Xbox and Steam in order to get those achievements to link to my Xbox profile. Does when you see that pop up, you might, like it, it. It shows you how much of that game you've played and how much time you've put into it, and it's a reward. So although you're playing the game and you're getting the enjoyment of the game and the the fulfillment of the story or the enjoyment of collecting all the collectibles just because you want to do it. It's nice to have that recognition that other people can look at and go, holy crap, you collected all 700 feathers in Assassin's Creed. I know it's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but it may as well be 700. So they're like, people can, people can look and see how much of the game you've played and how dedicated you were to completing and 100% in it. And you don't get that on Steam, because no one really cares about the achievements on Steam. And it's a shame, because they they could do a lot more of it. I wouldn't mind if they added a point system to Steam, that every time you got an achievement, they assigned a worth, a value, that's exactly the same as Gamer Score. I wouldn't mind if they did that, because then I feel like achievements... I would play for a lot more games than I do on PC, because I don't really bother playing them too much after I've completed them because it's not worth it. Achievements aren't worth getting for me. Whereas on Xbox they, they were. So if Steam changed the way their achievements work, I would definitely play games a lot more and a lot longer. So, I hope you enjoyed this little rambling video. Um, if you did, leave a like and if you didn't, leave a dislike. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comments below. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.